You're the founder chairperson of the Roshan Mahanama Trust. Speak to us about this journey that you've embarked on as well as the key focus of your trust. Sonali, we set up the trust about 14 months ago based on the work that I've been doing in the past. Uh, I also want to mention uh, this to the viewers that it's not something that I started in the recent past. This is something that I've been doing for quite a some time. Uh, quite some time okay. um, even after the tsunami when everyone decided to go down south with my father we set up a trust then and we did so many projects and our uh, first project was in Kalamanji Kude so <coughs> over the years we've been doing it and I just thought the time was right for me to set up my own trust people might wonder why I'm using my name but I just thought because um, I have uh, been doing it in the past and also have been able to build confidence. I thought it was important to use the name to go out and reach out to people to get their support. And the trust was formed um, with the intention of supporting the less privileged people. I know quite a number of people, they do that as a, uh, one of their CSR projects or a celebrity responsibility or you know if we want to just help people but I felt that if I was going to set up a trust I need to do it in a professional manner one of the first things that we did was um, we got some like-minded trustees it's run by a group of independent trustees mm -hmm. the bookkeeping is done by Amara Sekar and company and the auditing is done by ENY mm -hmm. even after the first six months we didn't want to wait until <coughs> we finish the second cycle of uh, um, the work that we do we did uh, the auditing completed for the first six months we completed that yesterday that's one of the things that we want to do and to be transparent and also we feel that we are accountable to the donors mm 